What's up, YouTube? This is Ken from Ken's How To's and Reviews, and today I'm so excited to do a review on the Tudor Pelagos 39 millimeter. Now, I've always wanted a Tudor watch. It's been kind of a dream of mine for a couple of decades, and I've just come into a place in my life where I can I can swing something like this. So I'm really excited to have this watch, and I'll do a quick review on the uh, unboxing, where I purchased it, sort of the specs, the look and feel, and then in a couple months, I'll give you a review of uh, what I think about the watch overall. So right off the bat, I'll kind of tell you what I replaced uh, with the Tudor, and that is my Seiko Sport watch. This is a juggernaut of a watch. It's steel, it's got a steel casing. I believe it's 42 millimeters. Uh, if not, it's pretty darn close. It's very thick, very sturdy. This is not Seiko's dive watch. This is just a sport watch. It cannot go significant meters under the ocean. It's more of a play in the lake, play in the pool, uh, mow the grass, but can also be worn uh, with a dinner jacket. So kind of cool, kind of versatile, and I will continue to keep this in my watch collection, which you're looking at it. So, <laughs> um, so, um, we'll just unbox it real quick. Uh, when I, when I received the watch, it was in immaculate condition. I purchased this brand new on eBay. I actually went to the jewelry store to try one on, and I would highly recommend doing this because I was very interested in the Tudor Pelagos 42, which is more of a watch like this very large, very sturdy, uh, still very light, lighter than this one, but Tudor's flagship dive watch is the Pelagos 42, which is, it, it's a big one. I'll just actually, I'll show it to you. So this, uh, this is the FXD. This is the 42. So it's significantly bigger. It's a 42 millimeter, still titanium, but it is bigger it's thicker. Um, it's got a helium escape valve, so it is a it, it's a mammoth. Still beautiful with some subtle differences that I will get into, but um, do go into the store and try this on because um, they felt drastically different from what I thought I wanted. Um, the forty two felt like this watch, and I wanted something more of a submariner. Uh, a little bit more thin watch. So definitely recommend trying it on. Um, I did not purchase it from a retail store. I actually went to eBay. The retail store is $4,700 and I would have come out OTD probably 5,000. I went on to eBay this uh, from a jewelry store and purchased this, uh, I'll say brand new. Uh, it was from an online eBay jewelry store that someone had apparently purchased it brand new. Everything was included and they walked out the door, didn't like it, brought it right back in the store. So I, I purchased it at, at a significant discount. I think out the door was 4,000. And I mean, it still had the plastic. It, this thing had so much plastic on it. I don't know how Tudor does it, but every square inch of the watch had plastic on it to keep it from getting scratched. Um, when you purchase it on eBay, some nice vendors will guarantee that this is authentic. So they send it to an authenticator. They, you know, sent me an authenticity certificate, this car, just to say it is a Tudor watch, which was very nice. So it was a very pleasant experience. Um, but I will say, be cautious, be careful when you purchase these types of things on eBay. Make sure you're getting a good guarantee and you're getting someone who's got some great feedback. So. In addition to the watch being packaged nicely, it's a nice velvet case, comes with a guarantee, service network, user guide, um, and all the things you need to get it serviced under warranty. This one actually still has five years of warranty left on it, so that's amazing. Comes with a sport strap, so you can go sport mode with this thing, and a scuba diving extender. Uh, this watch is actually advertised as a scuba diving watch, a dive watch, so it is a authentic tool watch. It is made to be used as intended, so I am not going to be afraid to beat this thing up. Um, 
So we went over where I purchased it. So some of the specs on it, this watch is actually, when measured, 40 millimeters from here to there. So it is a 39 millimeter advertised, but it's actually a 40. So it sits on your wrist um, as a 40, and I kind of like that. Some of the subtle differences between the 42 and the 39 are gonna be a little more refined, which I liked. So I wanted a dive watch but I also wanted it to kind of go well with a dinner jacket or a nice outfit. When I went to try on the 42, this the, the bezel is not a sunburst is what they call it. Um, it's matte and also the face is matte. On the 39, you're gonna get a subtle burst on the dial I don't, and you can almost not tell really but you can see that the bezel is ceramic and kind of has a sheen to it. It almost looks gray sometimes instead of black. That's called a, a burst. So the face is a burst and the crown, uh, excuse me, the bezel is a, is a burst, which I really liked. It kind of gave it a little sophistication along with um, a functional watch. Another thing I really enjoyed was the red lettering. On the 42, you're not gonna get uh, the red lettering unless you get the left-hand dial, which is kind of an homage to the, um, the Rolex Submariner, um, the red Submariner. So that's, that's a little something different. But uh, the watch is made out of grade two titanium, the 42 and the 39. The 39 is significantly th more thin than the 42. Uh, the 42 on my wrist was, it felt just huge. Um, it felt too, too, too big, honestly. Um, so I, I really like the low profile. This could, uh, your dinner, like a dinner shirt, a button up would fit over this kind of like a Submariner. Um, the gray, I will say the only thing that I have noticed right out of the box that I do not enjoy about this watch is how easy the grade two titanium scratches. I mean, you just cough wrong and this stuff will scratch. So you can kind of see the glare is a little bad. Let's see if I can block that. But you can see I have just worn this around the house and it is, it's scratched. So it's not significantly scratched. It's not a lot of chatter, but still, I mean, it's not gonna be a stainless steel band and casing. Um, Tudor wanted this to be a very light watch, which they achieved. I love the brushed titanium. It's really pretty. It's not too, you know, it doesn't look like a very fine piece of jewelry, but still it's, it's got a, uh, a nice look to it. So it's not going to be like your Rolex Submariner that's real polished and shiny. Um, it, it's definitely a, a working man's watch for sure. So. Um, that was my only con was the grade two titaniums, a little soft, scratch is easy, but overall pretty nice watch out of the box. And I will give a review in a couple months on what I think of it. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to shoot them at me and I'll uh, answer the best I can. And uh, I'll see you in a couple months and give you my thoughts uh, on how I like it. So feel free to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.